is starting, you know, here in the next couple days. And Bill Belichick has yet to name a starter. So usually by now we have a starter lined up for the New England Patriots. And we know exactly what is going to happen. But right now it is a Cam versus Mac Jones, basically head-to-head duel to the death, a.k.a. duel to the starter. So, Tori, I'm going to kick it to you first. Who is going to start week one for the New England Patriots? God, I really want to say that Mac Jones so they can go one and 16. Um, but so I'm gonna, say I'm gonna, it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, no, I'm going to stick with Cam. I think Cam is going to be – Belichick's playing Belichick games right now. It's still going to be Cam. He's not going to destroy his quarterback unless something happens to Cam, which there's Why? about a 99.9% chance that Cam gets hurt and Mac Jones goes in. It's going it, – as long as this doesn't turn into a Brady replacing Bledsoe thing, I'll be happy. Why? Again, look, we're gonna we're gonna argue right now. Why do you feel like if Mac Jones starts Week One, he's ruining his quarterback? It's all about confidence at that point. Like what, you what do you it. mean confidence? Wait, so you're telling me that if you start your quarterback and he loses a couple games, he's gonna be like, oh man, I suck. I no, not not so much anymore. that. It's what, it's no, it's the if he's getting hit consistently, constantly. It's the David Carr syndrome. David Carr was a good quarterback till he went to Houston. David Carr got hit so many times he became gun shy because there was no offensive line. That organization literally ruined his career. It is proven. Look at Steve McNair. Look at Aaron Rodgers. Look at Pat Mahomes. That sat. We sat Ugh. those guys. And guess what? They were some of the best quarterbacks in the game. Yes, but why? Like, I just don't understand. I don't understand why you would feel like like you can't like you can't do the thing. Sorry, something just popped up here on my screen yard here. Um, <laughs> yeah. Why would you feel like you can't start a guy? It just doesn't make sense. Mac Jones is the better option. At that position. Whoa, whoa. It, we do, we've, I've had now. this argument the last two days. If you don't think Mac Jones is a better option right now for that offense, Buck, we talked about this last night. We did. That offense for the last 20 years has been built off of a pocket-passing quarterback. Okay, so, so... That is what Mac Jones is, and that is not what Cam Newton is. So, Coleman. They did not go and sign those guys like Hunter Henry, uh, you know, Jonu, and, and the other guy they for Cam Newton to sit back and run the ball. They didn't do that. So and Cam Newton is not a passing quarterback anymore in this league. So Combs, let's flash back to 2020 NFL season. You and me sat right here on the man hour for first four or five weeks of the season before uh, uh, Cam Newton got your disease here. And we were talking about MVP caliber Cam, right? He was looking great. The it was Patriots, before the league caught up to him. Well, it, it, no, it was the Cam Newton was looking like an MVP caliber Cam Newton until he had to sit out those 14 days. And, and then, you know, when you set out for two weeks and you get, you know, and, and then, and then, and then a bye week happens, you get, and you, you excuses, develop some, excuses, you develop excuses. some, 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 some rust. Tori, speak some knowledge into here, Combs. Yeah. So he was last season. He was, he played, he played phenomenal. Whatever happened when he came back, all of a sudden he couldn't throw a five yard out. So he got taken out of his groove when he got, when he got the Rona. He still can't throw a five yard out. Did you watch him on Saturday? <laughs> Sunday? I sorry. I, I was, he, I was, he I was stuck in the awful. land of Oz. I was lucky. I he had looked bad. It was, it's, it, and not only that, but now you're in new England who you're already out as their guy. You're not, you are no longer their guy. So every mistake you make now is just magnified. So he's going to go in, if he's a starter week one, he's going to go in there, he's going to turn the ball over, the entire stadium's going to pelt him with snowballs, <laughs> and they're going to have to go ahead and, and, and bring in Mac Jones. Like, it just makes is, no sense to not. Mac is, Jones is the better option for the New England Patriots to start Week One. Cam, Cam the Newton being on the hot seat is not a secret, though. Okay. Everybody knows that's not a secret. I know it's not a secret. Cam, Cam Newton being the stopgap in New England is not a secret. But you know what? That gap has already stopped. 
Mac Jones is a better option starting right now. Justin Fields in Chicago is a better option starting right now. Zach Wilson is the best option that they have in New York. He's the only option in New York. There's no way that Trevor Lawrence isn't starting for for Jacksonville, and they've got a starter. They've they've got their guy. If you look at the numbers, and and, and I looked at the numbers the other day, cool, because I heard this on on some sports talk show that that Baker Mayfield is Gardner Minshew. Oh, look at the numbers. Your, oh my God. The numbers over the last three oh. years, Gardner Minshew and in Baker Mayfield are exactly just about Except the same. Minshew's only been in the league two years. They're exactly the same. They are not. Baker exactly Mayfield the same. and Gardner Minshew's not. numbers. Look them up. Maybe the numbers. Okay, so, so it's Combs, you, we have been on the man out for Completion over, over a year now, yeah. and you know numbers lie. Numbers lie to you, and these numbers of Gardner Minshew and Baker Mayfield are straight up lying to you, and you know uh, that. Well, I don't know about that because Baker Mayfield's playing on a much better team than Gardner Minshew has been playing on. But Gardner Minshew is also playing on a team that was behind by 35 points every single week. But he's still producing the numbers. What are it's, you talking it's, about? It, it's Dak Prescott. That, that makes Dak those Prescott numbers even numbers. better. You're saying you can say, I would say 